guys, well, let's get right into it. It's been pretty rough for Imanti Scanionis. It wasn't that long ago that the Lithuanian fought on a regular basis. As of late, he spent more and more time being sequestered on the sidelines. For the most part, Stanionis' protracted time on the bench hasn't been his fault. With Virgil Ortiz withdrawing from their showdown on multiple occasions, the current WBA regular welterweight champion has been left out in the cold. There are a few names Stanionis, Onis, whose 14 wins, 0 losses, 9 by way of knockout, is now sifting through. Amongst them is Keith Thurman. Inactivity has also plagued the former Unified Champs career. From injury issues to merely waiting until bigger opportunities arrive, Thurman simply hasn't fought much as of late. When things are clicking on all cylinders and the 34-year-old is motivated, he's proven to be an upper echelon welterweight. Still, regardless of his elite status, Danny Onis not only believes he has what it takes to beat him, but ultimately knock him out. Whether Thurman, who's 30 wins, one loss, 22 by way of knockout, will return to the ring this year or not is an ambiguous question. When last seen, however, the man nicknamed one time picked up an easy win against Mario Barrios. Stan Yonis, when he can, has watched Thurman's performances. Although he doesn't have much to choose from, he's noticed a few patterns in Thurman's game. Up until this point, only Manny Pacquiao has exploited those holes. Stan Yonis, though, doesn't have world titles in eight separate divisions like Manny Pacquiao does. But with that says, he wholeheartedly believes that Thurman makes the sort of mistakes that will play right into his hands. Stanionis Onis said, he's going to run around, but I can catch him. His defense is not so good and his chin is in the air, so I think I can catch him. Guys, what do you think about a, a fight between Amante Stanionis and Keith Thurman? Keith Thurman's looking for a dancing partner, as we know. We also know that Clarissa Shields called out Keith Thurman and Keith Thurman agreed to a uh, charity bout uh, with a whole bunch of stipulations but that doesn't seem like it's going to happen. So with that said, Amante Sanionis is also looking for a dance partner. Uh, there is the likes of Jerron Ennis, um, Terrence Crawford, of course. Uh, there, there are just a, a whole bunch of names um, in that welterweight division. Uh, Stanionis versus Keith Thurman. Might be a decent fight, actually since both of them have been inactive for a little while. Uh, but we just really hope, we really, really hope that Stan Ionis, uh next time that he is scheduled for a fight, actually gets to fight because this guy must be spending a pretty penny on camps just to get uh, canceled on and uh, or rescheduled. Uh, that must mentally mess with you, you know? Um, also, he also said that he's not happy with how Golden Boy handled that whole entire Virgil Ortiz Jr. situation with travel arrangements and everything uh, or reimbursements. He basically had to just make all the arrangements himself uh, and they didn't let him know that the fight was going to be canceled until after he did his weight cut, which he really didn't appreciate. Um, so uh, back to Amante Stanionis versus Keith Thurman. Do we want to see it? Sure. Why not? We think that it would be a decent fight and uh, definitely it would be um, an action-packed fight as both of the men don't stand down. Uh, so let us know in the comments below, guys, what you guys think about Stanley Onis versus Thurman. Uh, we're not sure if it's going to happen. It was just a statement, but let us know in the comments below. If it does come to fruition, who do you think would win that fight, Stanley Onis or Keith Thurman? All right, guys, well, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and also share the vid. We appreciate you. Take care.